Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your HI Media TV news update. I am unfortunately your host, and today uh, Donald Trump has what, what, what is perceived to be an attempted assassination attempt on his life. Fuck. Alright, this is, we're getting a live update from CNN, Tori Powell. I caught this off of another streamer's thing. Um, this is just an update letting y'all know what happened. Uh, we don't know who the shooter is, what the motivations behind it was. Uh, just to, uh, to reiterate, at least one uh, spectator in, in the crowd died as a result of the shooting. Uh, Trump was um, was not hit, but apparently allegedly some glass like hit his ear or whatever, and you know he's he's, he's bleeding down his face. Um, we heard the gunshots, and then Trump immediately was tackled by by Secret Service, um, and subsequently uh, did some kind of fist bump in the air and uh, immediately rallied the crowd and. Is now being has been looked at and is now stowed away safely. Oh boy. Okay. Um. All right. So let's let's be open about this. So nobody. So here's the thing. All what this is going to do is that this is going to energize Trump's base more. I have said repeatedly when talking about the election that. When people do, when, 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 you know, voter turnout is increased, Democrats win. The only, the only uh, snafu of that is, is that when right wing people come out, which do come out in higher numbers, they, the, it, 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 the Democrats will lose if the, if the, if there is depressed turnout in the other demographics. This is going to do, I think, Two things. The first thing is, as far as the election is concerned, um, Biden, obviously, I still maintain that he has to, he shouldn't be the Democratic primary nominee, uh, but God forbid he fucking wins it. I support him wholeheartedly just because I do not want Trump or his policies uh, to come out. Literally, the RNC put forth their, uh, pol their uh, policy plans for the next four years, and uh, just as a, just the quick cliff notes is that they want to deport everybody that is quote unquote illegal and at in the scale of that for that making that happen would be literally putting people in camps and on trains to 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 to, to get them out. Uh the deportation of people who the RNC considers uh uh politically opposed to to them, um and a political deportation of political opponents. Um, as well as the, uh, as well as a gutting of the welfare state. So just obviously bad thing, the bad fascistic things all around. Um, and so obviously, you know, there is, you know, I already had a friend, you know, for a childhood friend of mine who is very much in a different political place than me, uh, said, uh, basically Democrats are, are, are hate democracy. I, they, they, they hate, they, they hate, they hate, they, they hate democracy and shit because they tried to assassinate Trump. Bear in mind, this was like ten minutes into like this unfolding. So we, we, I this being recorded forty minutes after this event happened, we still do not know what what the political motivations of the shooter were. Um, the second thing that I think ultimately, like, I think it's going to increase turnout among people who are probably supporting Trump anyways um, and I think Biden's continued effect like ineffectiveness is going to depress um, uh, democratic turnout which will be ultimately what we'll see uh, uh, Trump the election uh, lastly but, but and this is I think more pressing um, I think regardless you know, I, I, I think if you know if this is a left-wing person that did this, uh, the right wing is going to use this as justification to start uh, doing stochastic terrorism and, and, and trying to kill left wing individuals, either in government, in the media, or just in life. I think there's going to be some zealots that hurt family members that, that have different views than them. As a result of this, I think there's going to be 
uh, uh, to assassination attempts on, you know, on like left wing uh, progressive Democrats or even like moderate Democrats as well. Um, you know, I think people like AOC is, you know, the, the, the racist misogyny that the right wing generally has for her, like on top of her, that hate them hating her because she's progressive and it doesn't take their shit. Um, I think that's also going to be a, you know, she's, she's probably gonna have to get some more security. There's someone who might take a shot at her. Um, and that I think is ultimately the best case scenario we have here is, is that it's just like some fucking lunatic who like a right wing lunatic who just disagreed with Trump for whatever reason. That is kind of like our best case scenario here. Uh, it sands that we're kind we're, we're in a bad place. I don't th I still think that I still think that, uh, you know, if the if the if the if the Democratic Party can energize people or energize people around Biden, like like whoever the the Democratic nominee will be, hopefully not Biden, things will be I guess okay. Um, but you know, I think the big thing that's close that might end up happening off of this is that the right wing very well might start terrorizing left of center communities or known left of center communities, and uh, there might be a case where you know, on voting day, you know, people either are, it's, it's a combination of lack of interest in, Bi in, in voting because Biden sucks and or fear of voting because of potential violence put against them. So I think it really is going to depend what ha has to happen over the next couple of days. Um, it really is going to depend what the demographic and political views of the person are. This is a lot of people saying that there's, it's alleged right now, like through some like confirmed photos, that it's a, it might be a white dude. Pray to God the person cis. Pray to God the person's fucking cis, and you know, pray to God the person's a Nazi. Because if they do, um, a lot of people are going to probably get hurt by the perceived uh, justification of retaliatory violence that will be done by the right wing here. So. Ah, we're in for, we're in for a, uh, fun time to live in, all right? Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a, join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash discord. Discord link's there, we'd love to have you, and given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ass, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, Please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.